David Robert Mitchell um, is, uh, uh, is looking to the future. He's now looking to re-edit a film. And um, MGM is, uh, their lion is roaring. Uh, today it was announced that they have an output deal with Killer Films, which is quite encouraging for, for uh, that uh, indie production company who's now celebrating 20 plus years. And uh, last week, they, we, we had mentioned that they, they, they came on board the George Miller film. Um, and so um, David is, um, is stepping up and going into the superhero mode, but it's not a Marvel franchise thing. It's not a DC thing. So what do we know? That's about what we know. <laughs> but it is David Robert Mitchell's take on superheroes, which... Uh, I'm as curious, I'm as excited and curious as anyone to see what that is. I mean, um, he did his version, I guess, I guess you could say a John Carpenter movie, but a bunch of other things with um, It Follows. Uh, he went and did his like LA trip movie with Under the Silver Lake, um, which, you know, you would think with that movie, he put probably every idea he ever had into it. I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a monster of a film in, in a lot of ways, but also, you know, with his own, I mean, it, it's his own thing. And he really showed a whole other side to himself there. And so I'm curious to see what, what his version of a superhero film is. Does this mean it's going to be something like Chronicle, uh, Josh Trank's film, mm -hmm. sort of a found footage, you know, uh, high school sort of movie, or my feeling is it'll be something we have no idea what it will be, but the fact that he got MGM uh, on board speaks to uh, possibly something that's going to be a bit more wi wider reaching than his previous two films. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually a good uh, a good point. Um, and um, um, I, I, I I was thinking about his can splash in two thousand nineteen or was it two thousand eighteen? I forget. Um, and how unfair it was for um, the expectation levels for that third film were, were immense. And um, I sort of felt that we, we sort of like put him in that Richard Kelly box. And um, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that we don't, um, we don't uh, compromise another career with, uh, and, and, and this shows or demonstrates that um, that that expansive universe that he did create, no matter how messy it was, um, that there is um, sort of not a silver lining, but there is uh, there's there's hope that he can um, bring originality to to something that that I've kind of lost interest until the so uh, sort of like the Joker sort of like totally shaped or 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 diverged from from safe uh, super, uh, superhero films. So I don't know what your feelings are about the, the tonal shape of, of, um, of this project. Yeah, I mean, obviously we don't know which direction it will go. I will say I agree with you. I, I did think after finally catching up with Under the Silver Lake that um, the reaction out of Cannes was very unfair. I mean, it's not a perfect film by any mm -hmm. stretch. But there's a lot of really cool ideas. He does some really interesting things in that film. Um, but yeah, as for the tonal shape, like who can say it? It'll be interesting. Like Joker was probably connected with a huge audience in a way that even Warner Brothers didn't expect. It was a massive hit and an Oscar picture uh, contender. Um, but I mean, then again, you have something like, this is not a, a good comparable, but you have something like, Will Smith's Hancock, which was a different take on a superhero movie. It's a very um, sour, kind of cynical movie, and that one did not do as well, even with the biggest star in the world in it. So it isn't always a slam dunk when people say they want to see a different superhero movie that when they get it, it's what they wanted and expected. So all I can say is David Robert Mitchell is marching by the beat of his own drum, and that's great. Hi, I'm Eric Lavallee. I'm Editor-in-Chief and Site Owner for IonCinema.com, and this is... Kevin Jaggernaut, Contributing Writer for The Playlist. And together we are... Indie Sponge.